Mother's Day Radiant Moms! Hello, we wanted to share with you one thing that we love to do together as a family, and that is to go on nature walks. We love to go out and explore creation together, look at God's creation, his nature, um, listen, observe, and see what we can see outside. So a verse that... Um, you know, speaks to us all is in Psalm 19 about the heavens declaring the glory of God. It's so beautiful. And then also in Romans 1, um, 1 verse 20, it says, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. So we love to observe um, God and all that he has created. And so I have a question for you, Kayla. What? Where did we go yesterday? Uh, park. To the park. And what did we do, Sophia? We played. We played. And Brie, what else did we do? We saw birds. We saw sky. birds in the sky. Yeah. And Lucas, what else did we do? We picked dandelions. We picked dandelions. So I really encourage our kids that when we go on nature walks um, to definitely observe what they're seeing and to listen to the birds, to um, to look around, to feel, maybe reach down and feel things, collect things. So three things that I wanted to share with you is sometimes we go out and we take our journals. So jur Lucas, do you want to hold this up a little bit? Yeah. So on some of our nature walks, we take our journals and the children draw what they see and hear. And um, they even write about it sometimes a bit. And then, um, Bree, do you want to show something? And then the other thing that we do is we bring our, sometimes we bring our collections home. So Bree has found some special rocks. And, I like this bag. Okay. This is the smooth rock. Your smooth rock, very nice. And then um, Sophia has one too. And go ahead and can you show this to them? What is this here? A rock collection where we put nature in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a collection. We've taken an egg carton and we've taken and we've uh -huh. taken different things that we've collected in nature and just put it there for them to observe up in their room or wherever. And then later, you know, they can keep it there. They can take something out and draw it. Um, they've even um, used it to make another craft. So it's really fun to um, just have those with them in their room. And they're, they're like prized little treasures. We've even taken little jars and put shell seashells in jars or um, they find acorns or whatever and they um, just they've become special little treasures for them what God has made and also this was yesterday's pick but here on the ends of our table you can see big bouquets of dandelions and for me as a mom I love just to you know allow the children to bring into the home what they see what they observe and to celebrate what they're seeing um, God has made so I just want to encourage you I also have a bunch of um, books on nature and so I want to encourage you to read the Bible um, go through books you know take a walk um, and also just allow them to journal, um, bring it home to draw it or make art out of it, and then also a collection where they can collect it and observe it and, and keep it for later. So Kayla, you were going to show your drawing, right? You had drawn a leaf. Okay, you want to turn this around? She was actually making, this was like a palm branch, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you remember what that was for when we were celebrating what? Uh, God. When we were celebrating the resurrection of God, Easter. Jesus, yeah, Easter, very good. So um, just wanted to encourage you today, and I hope you're blessed by these little tidbits of going out into creation and seeing all of the wonderful things that God has made and, you know, reading from the Bible and some nature books and then bringing things home um, to journal about them, to draw them, or to make a collection. And so have a wonderful Mother's Day. Bye, guys.